Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. It's been a wonderful day and I've got a wonderful guest for you. I've got Dr. Kimberly Smith. She's head of research and development at Vivi Healthcare. Dr. Smith, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for talking about this HIV research. You say or you believe it still needs more attention, especially after 40 years after the first case has been reported. I can't believe it's been 40 years, but let's talk about over the 94 let's talk about the over 94,000 Texans who may be living with HIV. Tell me about that. Yeah, no, that I think that's a really important number, and 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 it's important to know that 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 number of individuals living with HIV in Texas has increased by 16% over the last five years, and so it's an ongoing uh, issue. And 50% of Texans uh, living with HIV are either in Dallas or in Houston, and so it's a significant problem for folks in in Texas, and it's something that you know. Uh, maybe isn't talked about nearly as much as we, you know, are somewhat distracted by other things that are going on, but it's still a major issue. And uh, it's important that um, I'm really happy that you're taking the time to talk about it today. Well, it is an important issue because has those statistics increased over the last five years? They have a uh, 16% increase in Texas. And, and and we're seeing increases in other parts of the country as well. Generally, the Southeast U.S., the numbers have been going in the wrong uh, direction. And so I think people think that HIV is something uh, that's in the past. It is very much still in the present. There are you know, roughly 1.1 to 1.2 million people in the United States living with HIV. And that is, you know, that's a huge number. And so we we can't uh, take this disease for granted. If we, you know, don't pay attention to it, we'll, we'll only see, uh, you know, more movement in the wrong direction. Okay, let's talk a little bit. I failed to ask you, just in a synopsis format, what is HIV? So HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus. And so it is a virus that individuals can acquire either through uh, through sexual activity or through intravenous drug use. In the past, individuals could acquire it from uh, blood products, but that's not the case now. All blood products are tested for HIV. It's also possible to transmit it uh, from mother uh, to, to, to baby during pregnancy. And so that's how HIV is transmitted. When individuals have HIV, it attacks their immune system and breaks it down. And, and when their immune system becomes weak, then they, they, it's called AIDS or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And in that case, individuals are vulnerable to severe infections and cancers that ultimately can kill them. And so if we remember, again, in the beginning of the epidemic in the early 1980s, so 40 years ago, a- HIV was uh, uniformly fatal uh, and Individuals were young and healthy, acquired HIV, and they rapidly progressed in many cases on to AIDS and to death. The good news is that since then, uh, we've developed treatments for HIV. In the 1990s, we learned that combinations of, of medicines could control HIV, but those combinations often required individuals to take a handful of medications many times a day. And they were associated with really some significant side effects that made it hard for people to adhere to their medications. Nowadays, we've made great progress so that people can take as little as one pill a day. And in the last year, we've developed and gotten approval for a medication where individuals are dosed once a month. And so there's been tremendous progress over the past four decades. You've made this progress in the field of medicine for HIV. Where are these people living in Texas that you are speaking of? Are they living in major cities or rural areas? 
Well, you know, it can be all over the state, but 50 percent are in in Dallas and Houston. And so it is, you know, more common in metropolitan areas, but it can be anywhere. And so rural parts of the state also can experience, uh, you know, HIV up, upticks, in some cases outbreaks. And so it's important for individuals, no matter where they live, uh, to, to look to, to get HIV tested if they haven't been so that they can know their status and access medicines that will uh, control HIV if they do happen to be living with it. And I'd like to ask you, Austin is the capital of Texas. Has that been impacted in large numbers by HIV? So Austin has uh, significant numbers as well, not as big as as Dallas or Houston, but it does also have significant numbers. And so I think, you know, I, I would say that individuals shouldn't think so much about where they live per se, as much as have they ever been tested for HIV. If they've never been tested for HIV, I encourage people to really go and get tested. And if they happen to be positive, to talk to their doctor about what are some of the treatment options available to them to keep their HIV under control. Because if you're on treatment for HIV, you can live a lifespan that is comparable to individuals who don't have HIV. And as I mentioned, the treatments have gotten better and better. Just in the last month, we've shared new data on a couple of our treatments. One of them is called Devato. The important thing about that medicine is, is that it's two medicines in one pill, and that can control HIV. Why that's important is that most of the treatments for HIV require three or four medicines. And so if you can control HIV with just two medicines, hopefully that means that you're gonna be able to reduce the number of side effects. And as I mentioned, there's that once a month medicine where individuals go into their doctor's office and, and get dosed once every month. And so with, with combinations like that available, it's really important that people go and talk to their doctors about what treatment options might be available for them if they happen to be living with HIV, because we do wanna see everybody uh, that's living with HIV getting on treatment. Folks who are on treatment and have their virus suppressed don't transmit to their sexual partners. Something called U equals U, undetectable equals untransmittable. And so there's lots of reasons for you to wanna to know your status. Treatments are much better, they're super effective, and ultimately people can live a long, healthy life with HIV. Dr. Kimberly Smith, because of the type of work you do, I understand the position of where you th you're coming from. We've talked about people who've acquired HIV. How do you avoid it or can you avoid it? So you absolutely can avoid it. Um, certainly, um, you know, using condoms is, is effective at preventing HIV. And nowadays there's actually something called PrEP and that's called that's P R. EP or, or uh, pre-exposure uh, prophylaxis and where individuals can take a pill every day and, and if they take that pill, that will prevent them from uh, acquiring HIV. And so there is a, a lot of progress in helping people to, to avoid HIV as well. Where do we go online? Because I had never heard of taking the pill. Where do you go online, especially if you are young, not necessarily me, but my children, young millennials dating people out in, in, in the world? Where do you go and find more information? Sure. So uh, let me tell you that you can find more information about those treatments that I mentioned uh, at Devato.com. That's D-O-V-A-T-O.com or the monthly treatment, Cabinuva, C-A-B-E-N-U-V-A.com. So those, those sites will tell you more about those treatment options. But if ind individuals want to find out more about HIV prevention, they could really just Google PrEP or look at some of the, um, the HIV.gov will provide lots of information about how to prevent HIV. Dr. Kimberly Smith, in a, in a uh, year of COVID and to have this breakthrough information coming from you on the Valder BB Show, I feel very honored. So thanks for stopping by and being my guest and giving my audience this information. Well, it's absolutely my pleasure. Thank you for covering this important topic and thank you for having me this morning. I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.